Morning. Morning. Welcome everyone as we come together to celebrate this Friday, the fifth week of Lent. Please join me in the entrance antiphon. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who pursue me. O Lord, that we never be put to shame for our call on you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let's take a moment to call to mind our sin. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord, in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. Which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, You are gods? 
they call them gods to whom the word of God came. And scripture cannot be set aside. Can you say that that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. And they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we find ourselves in the fifth week of Lent. Once again, we've covered our statues and altar cross and shrouded them as a sign of celebrating Holy Week and the Passion of Jesus next week. So, of course, in our readings, we're getting closer and closer to, um, you know, Jesus setting his face like Flint, and going towards Jerusalem, and ultimately his Passion, Death, and Resurrection. And so we see here today that in the midst of the um, pressure Jesus is facing, he returned to the Jordan, as it says in our gospel today, to the place where John first baptized him and began to perform signs there. That kind of brings us back in the ministry of Jesus to three years prior when he first began his ministry in the Jordan with the baptism of John. And recall how the heavens opened, the Holy Spirit descended upon Jesus, and God the Father spoke from heaven, you are my beloved son, whom I'm well pleased. And of course, the blasphemy that the Pharisees and scribes accused Jesus of is calling himself the Son of God, the divine Son of God, making himself God. And since we know in the gift of the Trinity that the essential nature of the three persons of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Spirit, are relational, we see that the very definition of God is a relational definition that God, in relationship with himself and in relationship with others, that the giving and receiving of love, the gift of love is part of the true nature of God himself. And it's also important for us to realize that it's the essential part of our nature. As children of God, as people created in the image and likeness of God, we too are um, essentially relational. We're not built to be on an island alone. If you were to separate a person from the rest of society, he would die. He would not be able to live. The experience of being in relationship with each other is an essential part of our very nature. And we hear that once again in the Gospel today. It says that we will be one in the Lord and he will be one in us. So we see that essential relationship of nature within ourselves. And we hear in the first reading from the prophet Jeremiah today that many of his friends have turned against him as he's been a prophet. He has enemies besieging him on every side. And so we walk with Jesus next week for Holy Week as we celebrate this last Friday of Lent before Good Friday. Remember that we are too in relationship with Jesus. But Jesus will feel forsaken by many of his friends and he will carry the cross for our salvation. So if we've ever felt um, forsaken or alone or desperate, in a sense, we cling to Jesus and we cling to his life. And we begin our journey with him next week for Holy Week. For Jesus is our friend, Jesus who wept for his friend Lazarus. We will journey with Jesus carrying the cross next week. Let us always remember that both the good times and the bad and the highs and the lows, that we are relational people that were made for relationship and that Jesus is our friend, and that Jesus is always in relationship with us in both the times that we rejoice and celebrate and the times of our sorrow and grief. And let us journey as a friend with Jesus next week as he will carry his cross and share in his resurrection.
With confidence in God, our rock, we pray. May the church be uphold to defend all those harassed for their faithfulness to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord that the elected candidates may find in Christ a mighty champion and strong defender. We pray to the Lord. Lord that persecutors and bullies may stumble before the righteousness of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord that the sick may have faithful friends in their time of trouble. We pray to the Lord. That God may vindicate the righteous dead with his life eternal, we pray to the Lord. Lord we offer. For our silent intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord we offer. God, our strong code, though we are surrounded on every side, you deliver us from sin and injustice, from violence, terror, and distress. Be our refuge in these Lenten days, that we may face the cross with courage, and so to be raised to life through Christ your Son. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant a merciful God that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall. So may come for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, 
all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ and be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Mario, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. I saw for each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed to those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy they should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion antiphon. Jesus bore our sins in his own body on the cross, set the dead to sin, and might live for righteousness. By his wounds we have been healed.
Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord. May it always drive forth from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Please bow your heads for the blessing. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, bless the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. St. Michael. Remember. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To you, Eternal Father, we now offer this tribute of our worship in a spirit of humility and with a contrite heart. May we redound to your honor and glory, make us and all faithful Christians, both living and dead, to serving of the forgiveness of our sins, the increase of grace, and the reward of our everlasting life. Let us glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O God, through the passion, death, and resurrection of your Son, you show us the path to eternal glory by the way of the cross. As we now follow him by our prayers to the place of Calvary, may we also share in his victory over sin and death, and be received into his kingdom for all eternity, where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. See how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one, Christ above and torment hangs, she First station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. In the morning, the chief priests, elders, scribes, and the whole council binding Jesus led him away and took him to Pilate, and they all condemned him, saying, He is guilty of death. We have found this man saying that he is Christ the King. And Pilate, sitting in the place of judgment, handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. God spared not his only Son. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who came down upon earth in the glory of the Father in heaven and shed your precious blood for the remission of our sins, I humbly pray that on the day of judgment you may find us worthy to be placed at your right hand and to hear your words. Come, you blessed of my Father. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Who on Christ, dear Mother, gazing, pierced by anguish so amazing, born of woman would not be. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross, we adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Carrying his cross, Jesus went forth to the place called Calvary. Hail, O Christ, our King. You alone have pity on the folly of our sins. 
Obedient to the will of the Father, you are led forth to be crucified like an innocent lamb to the slaughter. To you be glory, to you be triumph and victory over sin and death, to you the crown of highest honor and acclaim. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Let us pray. Lord, you once said, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Grant that we may be able so to carry it as to obtain your saving grace. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Who on Christ, dear Mother, thinking such a cup of sorrow drinking would not share her sorrows deep? The third station. Jesus falls the first time under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Our Lord Jesus Christ humbled himself to the point of death, even to death on the cross. That is why God exalted him above every creature and gave him a name that is above all other names. Come, let us adore and bow down and worship before God. Let us weep in the presence of the Lord who made us, for he is indeed the Lord our God. Surely he has borne our infirmities. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, we confess that we are weak, that we often fail in the midst of trials and sufferings. Through the merits of the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ, your only begotten Son, give us new courage and hope. This we ask in Jesus' name, who lives and reigns forever. Amen. Gracious Mother, font of love, Touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with yours accord. The fourth station. Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. To what shall I compare you, or to what shall I liken you, virgin daughter of Jerusalem? For great as the sea is your distress. O Mother of mercy, grant that we may always realize in ourselves the death of Jesus, and share with him in his saving passion. A sword of sorrow has pierced your soul. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, at the hour of your cruel death on the cross, a sword of sorrow pierced the grieving soul of the Virgin Mary, your mother. May she plead for clemency in our behalf, now and at the hour of our death. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Make me feel as you have felt. Make my soul to glow and melt. With the The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene is forced to take up the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. As the soldiers were leading Jesus away on the road to Calvary, they laid hold of a certain Simon of Cyrene, a passerby, who was coming in from the country and forced him to take up the cross of Jesus. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Whoever does not carry his cross and come after me, let us pray. O God of grace and might, accept our prayers and sacrifices. Be moved to have mercy on us. Strengthen us in our weakness, so that our rebellious wills may yield to your divine will in all things. This we ask of you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her 
tender child. All with bloody scourges friend. The sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Lo, we have seen him, and there is no beauty in him, nor comeliness. He is despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, his face full of grief. He is worn out by suffering, like one in whose presence the people hide their faces. He is scorned and disdained. His appearance is that of one tortured beyond human endurance. Yet he is fairer than all the sons of men. By his wounds we are healed. Turn not your face away from us. Let us pray. O God, renew us according to your own image and likeness by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, your Son. Guide our footsteps in your paths, that we may truly experience the gift of your divine charity. This we ask through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the sins of his own nation, he now walks in desolation till his earthly life is spent. The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. They delivered me into the hands of the impious. They cast me out among the wicked. They spared not my life. The powerful gathered together against me, and like giants they stood against me. Afflicting me with cruel wounds, they mocked me. But I am a worm and no man. Let us pray. O oh God, by the humiliation of your Son, you lifted up our fallen world. Grant your faithful people abiding peace and joy. Deliver us from the perils of eternal death and guide us to eternal happiness in heaven. This we ask through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Holy Mother, pierce me through and my heart each wound renew. Of my Savior crucified, let me share with you his pain, who for all my sins was slain, who for me in torments died. The A Station. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Following Jesus on the road to Calvary was a great multitude of people and of women who bewailed and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Remember that the days are coming when they will say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. If they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? They who sow in tears, let us pray. O God, you chose rather to have mercy than to be angry with those who put their hope in you. <clears throat> Grant us your grace that we may truly grieve and make amends for the evil we have done, and thus obtain the gift of your heavenly consolation. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me join with you in grief. Take away my unbelief. All the days that I may live. The ninth station. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. My people, what have I done to you, or what have I grieved you? Answer me. I brought you out of the land of Egypt, and you have led me to the gibbet of the cross. Forty years I fed you with man in the desert, and you have beaten me with bows and scourges. 
What more should I have done for you that I have not done? He was led a sheep to the slaughter. Let us pray. Guard us, O God, on high, by your ever-present mercy and goodness. Without your help, we cannot overcome the evil that beckons us. Because of our weak human nature, without you we shall surely fall. Help us to avoid all that is sinful and guide our steps in the way of all that is profitable for our salvation. This we ask of you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. At the cross with you to stay, there with you to weep and pray. This I ask of you to give. The Testation. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. They came to the place that is called Golgotha, or Calvary, the place of the skull. There they gave him wine to drink, mingled with gall. He tasted it, but would not drink. They divided his garments among them by drawing lots, and thus was fulfilled what the prophet had said. They divided my garments among them, from my vesture they cast lots. They gave me gall for my food. Let us pray. Strip us, Lord Jesus, of our former self, with its evil deeds and ways, and clothe us with that newness of nature which you have created in justice, holiness, and truth. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Virgin of all virgins, bless. Listen to my fond request. Let me share your grief and pain. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Amen. Having arrived at the place called Calvary, they crucified him there, and with him two thieves, one on the right and the other on the left, and Jesus in the midst. My people, what have I done to you? I exalted you with great power, and you have hanged me on the gibbet of the cross. They have pierced my hands and feet. Let us pray. O God, by the sacred passion of your only begotten Son, and by the five wounds from which his blood was poured, you repaired the evil wrought by sin in our human nature. As we on earth revere the wounds which he received, we pray that in heaven we may experience the fruit of his most precious blood. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let me to my latest breath in my body bear the death of your risen Son once slain. The twelfth station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. When Jesus saw his mother at the foot of the cross and standing near her, the disciple whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. After that, he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. Having tasted the vinegar, Jesus said, It is finished. And crying in a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Christ, for our sake, became obedient unto death. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, at the sixth hour you mounted the gibbet of the cross for the redemption of the world and shed your precious blood for the remission of our sins. Humbly beg that, after our death, may enter with joy the gates of paradise. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Let his 
strives and scourging smites me. Let his holy cross requite me. Let his blood refresh me there. The thirteenth station. The body of Jesus is placed in the arms of his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. All you who pass by the way, look and see if there be any sorrow like my sorrow. My eyes are spent with weeping, my whole being is troubled. My strength is poured out upon the earth, as I behold the cruel death of my son. For the enemy has prevailed against me. Call me not Naomi, that is beautiful, but call me Mara, that is bitter. For the Almighty has afflicted me and has dealt quite bitterly with me. Tears are on her cheeks. Let us pray. At your passion, Lord Jesus, as Simeon had foretold, a sorrow of sorrow pierced the sweet soul of Mary, your glorious Virgin Mother. As we now reverently recall her bitter anguish and suffering, grant that we may obtain the blessed fruits of your redemption. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. When the flames of hell would end me, at the judgment day defend me. Gentle virgin with your prayer. The 14th station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Joseph of Arimathea, who was also a disciple of Jesus, went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate offered it to be given to him. Having taken the body down from the cross, Joseph wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which I had hewn out in a rock, and he wrote a great stone to the door of the tomb. You will not leave my soul in the netherworld. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you left us a record of your passion in the holy shroud wherein Joseph wrapped your sacred body when it was taken down from the cross. In your mercy, grant that through your death and burial, we may experience the glory of your resurrection. This we ask of you, now living and reigning forever. Amen. Jesus, when you call me hence, be your mother my defense. Be your cross my sacrifice, while my body here decays, may my soul your goodness praise, safe with you in paradise. Let us pray. O oh God, you will that your only begotten Son should suffer and die on the cross for us in order to rescue us from the power of the enemy. As we now glory in honoring that same holy cross, grant that we may everywhere rejoice in your loving care and obtain the grace of rising with them. This we ask of you through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Ich habe Angst, dass ich nicht mehr. Ich habe Angst, dass ich nicht mehr.